Hey guys, welcome in. How's everybody doing? My name is Shannon. We're here today with a timeless reading for cancer. i um, doing this in September, so figure three months on either side of whenever you're finding this. All right, guys. In the pre-shuffle, I kept seeing the Fool. I kept seeing the Nine of Swords. So you guys might be stepping into something new, getting ready to step into something new, or you may be being asked to take a leap of faith that's feeling difficult, or maybe we're overthinking it, or something along these lines. But let's jump in to what Tarot has to say. For Cancer, please. What do we have going on here? Yeah, we've got the Five of Wands coming out as the central issue. So the Five of Wands speaks to conflict, as you can see here, um, kind of being tied up in knots almost. And we have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So it feels like we've kind of been stuck in the midst of doing something. We've been trying to make something come to fruition and it feels like there's been just impediments along the way. Let's see what led up to this. Should we release some past, please? What led us to this Five of Wands? What got us here, guys? Thank you. Death. So, <laughs> the Six of Swords. Okay, so there was an ending, a major ending here with the Death card. Major completion. We have the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So this completion for you, Cancer, it feels to me like you made the choice to leave whatever we were in previously to this death card. So this wasn't like a tower moment. It doesn't feel that way. Um, but it feels like you made a decision to move away from something towards something else. And this has caused a lot of upheaval in your life. We have the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So you could even be feeling like this Five of Wands, you could even be like beating yourself up over whatever this decision is that we made, whatever came to a completion. But remember guys, everything happens for a reason. And you would have made this decision thinking that there was something better on the other side of this ending. Let's see what's coming up in the near future. What is coming up in the near future? The Four of Pentacles and Strength. So we have the Strength card on the bottom of the deck. We have Four of Pentacles coming out in the near future. For some of you, this could indicate, you know, needing to be cautious with your finances. For others of you, this feels to me like something needs to be let go of. So we've made this big move away with the death card here. Something has completed, the cycle is done. We have been trying to move on, but we're stuck in this five of wands energy. It feels to me like most of you are stuck here because there's still something that needs to be released, but it's going to take a lot of your strength. It's gonna take a lot of your willpower to be able to let go of whatever this is. Because for some of you, whatever this is might actually be, you know, helping you out in some way here in the physical. So like, let's say you're working two jobs, you decided to move away from one of them and now you're second guessing it because you're like, oh, I really could have used that money. That's not for everybody, that's just an example here. But there's definitely something here that's keeping us tied up and it's attached to something we need to release. Let's see what's crowning cancer. What is crowning for cancer? What do we have in our head? Ooh, okay. Okay, so what's crowning us? What's in our head here? We have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So like I said, it feels like you moved on from whatever this is because you felt like there was a better option on the other side. That said, crowning us above this five of wands, so it looks like this. We have the tower and we have the nine of pentacles. <sighs> so 
So if the way that this feels, guys, it feels like when you moved away, you kind of expected this nine of wands energy to be there waiting for you. So we expected to feel more fulfilled than what we currently do. Um, with the tower coming out with the nine of pentacles, what's that? what that is telling me is that basically you've been, it, it was kind of shocking that instead of landing in this beautiful nine of pentacles energy, we're kind of stuck between this five of wands and four of pentacles. And it feels like there's some confusion as to why. Yeah. Why? Again, it feels like it is tied to something that needs to be released, guys. So something that maybe we thought we cut cords with before we made this decision to move on that we didn't fully disconnect from, there's something here holding us back that is tied to whatever happened prior to death coming in. Show me what's in the foundation of this, please. The Page of Swords, the Hierophant. So Cancer, whatever this is, whatever decision it is you've made, you really thought long and hard about this. This isn't something you rushed into. This is something that you made a decision based off of your values with. There's something here that feels like there's an emotional aspect of this that isn't coming through, but is kind of hiding in the back end. That's kind of keeping us stuck because there's a definite feeling of being stuck. Like we expected freedom. We expected to be like, okay, thank God we're done with that chapter. Let's move on to the next. But there's that feeling isn't there. Um, we're not feeling free like we had hoped. We're feeling maybe even more bogged down now than we did prior to making this decision. Let's see, show me this four of pentacles. What is this? King of swords, thank you. The moon. Okay, and the devil. Like I said, guys, it feels like there is something that is is really got us still tied down. We've got the moon and the king of swords coming out here on the four of pentacles. So what this is telling me is you're trying to rationalize your way through this. You're trying to come to a reasonable conclusion about what you should do next, why you're feeling this way, but there is something either being hidden from you, there's some type of disillusionment, and it is tied to either some type of temptation or some type of, yeah, something that is really bringing you down in a big way. Something we feel bound to, something we feel like we can't release entirely. This could also be somebody else like kind of putting their energy on you Like you try to cut cords with somebody and somebody is like not having it. That's just for some of you. Let's see, let's try to get a little bit of guidance for you here, Cancer. Ooh, got three cards flying out here. Okay, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Four of Wands. So guys, basically what this is advising to get to this place of being, of feeling some stability around us again, right? A, there's gonna be a need to take a step back and reconsider things, okay? We need to go from this five of wands back to this four of wands. And the way that we're going to do that is by really thinking through where our passions lie um, and really coming through with a grounded approach to tackling whatever this problem is. But there's a major emphasis here on understanding what the problem specifically is for you. So what is it? Are we still connected to another person? Are we still tied down 
emotionally maybe to something that we thought we had completely let go of. There is a need to release something here and I feel like once that is released, we're going to be gaining a whole lot of clarity surrounding this situation as a whole because there are a lot of good opportunities here for you, Cancer. It, it feels to me though, like every time a, something positive pops up and you know wants to come through for you, there's something pulling you back from, from prior to this move here, okay? So from whatever has passed for you, whatever we have left in the past, there is a need to go back and really think on um, if we've brought any part of this with us or if somebody else is still connecting to us in a way that we are not okay with. Because there's something holding you back here, but it doesn't have to be. Use your logic, use your reason, follow your passion, follow your intuition. As long as we're doing these things, making sure that we're cutting cords with people we no longer want to be connected with, you guys are going to be moving forward to a place of a more stable place where things aren't feeling so up in the air. And so, um, so discombobulated. <laughs> that's the word that's coming to my brain. But you guys will get through this. It, there's there's something here you need to go back and we need to reconsider whatever happened during this ending. And we need to reassess that. Go back through it in your head. Obviously, don't put yourself in any situation that could be harmful to you, obviously. Um, it feels to me like this is something more mental than something more like in the physical realm. So this is something we need to let go of physically, I'm sorry, mentally, not physically or spiritually. All right, Cancer, that's where we're going to leave it at today. I truly hope this reaches whoever it needs to, and I hope it provides some clarity or confirmation for you. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I love y'all so much. I hope you're all having a beautiful day, and I will talk to you again soon.